Allen was advised by some people he met that a wealthy Englishman was willing to put a significant amount of money available to him for research purposes. This happened in uh, 1985, I believe. And uh, in pursuit of that, he and Mrs. Hynek sold the property they had in Evanston, Illinois, and moved to Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, the purpose being to uh, find an opportunity to work there, near where these cut the couple who had uh, advised him of this gentleman from England, uh, who was willing to make some finances. They began that undertaking in Scottsdale. Uh, Unfortunately, the Englishman had some bad luck in North Africa, lost several million dollars, so he decided he couldn't spare a couple million for Dr. Hynek. So the, the plan, which was hopefully going to provide some serious scientific work, fell apart. Uh, it kind of broke Alan Hynek's heart that this would occur. The people who had lured him into this situation uh, were not uh, as well prepared on the level of scientific inquiry and study as he had wished they would be. So he found himself kind of marooned out there in a way, uh, having left the uh, environs of Northwestern University where he had been, a, where he was a professor emeritus at that time. I uh, had a conversation with him after that and he indicated that he regretted very much that he had gone out there and, and made this change in his life, though he enjoyed being there when he got there, because it didn't succeed in what he thought it would by providing the wherewithal to have the type of serious scientific study carried out. And he died a very disappointed man because he had not accomplished his goal of attracting the attention of a significant number of scientists in the Western world to the study of this strange phenomenon.